Hi guys, Doug Fogg here and welcome back to another FIFA 18 player event. Today I'm going to be reviewing the 86 rated English striker Michael Owen. He cost me 414,000 coins and in the 9 games that I played him with, he scored me 9 goals and got me 3 assists and he's a 4 star weak foot along with 3 star scummers and getting into his in-game stats from his main standout stats were his 91 reactions, his 90 finishing, his 92 attack positioning and his, 94, and his 84 ball control. I'm going to get to his icon profile. This was the Michael Owen during his time with Real Madrid having a decent period for them. He certainly wasn't fantastic for them, but, uh, you know, he was okay for them. And uh, just before we get off into this review for this Owen card, I'd like to say a massive thank you guys for all the support recently on YouTube. At the moment, we're averaging about 2,000 views a day. We're getting closer and closer to 5,500 subscribers. Awesome support. In the last hour alone, I've had 130 views, which is... You know, it's a lot, and I really do appreciate you guys for that. I'm just going to try and keep doing as many videos for you guys as possible. And also, I am going to be doing a double upload, I hope, today. I've got a very exciting Team of the Year investment where you guys could potentially make hundreds of thousands of coins off one player. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. I'm very excited to share that with you guys, as well as the screen card that I did manage to pack from the SBC. But anyway, getting up into the pros for this Michael Owen card for me, his first pro was his finishing. When I think of Michael Owen, one word, to kind of describe him is clinical that's the same for IRL and that's the same in this game he is so clinical you get them into those one-on-one -on -one chances you've got a great chance of scoring finesse shots brilliance and the ground through ball shots brilliance it's a driven shot the driven shot I just finally re I remembered it in a video the driven shot uh, yes um, yeah his driven shot was fantastic in general such a good player and I think that was evidenced in the nine goals in the nine games that he did the nine goals in the nine games that he did score very good in those chances. And to be honest, he felt, I felt he was a little bit overshadowed by Del Piero, to be quite honest. You know, playing them in a two man attack, Del Piero was still always the main striker for me. And uh, I think Owen would suit being either in a two man attack where he's the main focus or either in a one man striker position, to be honest. Uh, I thought he could have done better, to be honest, but Del Piero is still just, he's, he's the man in this game, Del Piero. Uh, and for me, Owen. Um, yeah, he was very good with his finishing in general, and obviously, yeah, a very nice return in the uh, goals that he got uh, with the amount of games that he played. And also, for me, his second pro is his dribbling. He was known for actually his good dribbling. I mean, he obviously dribbled around the whole Argentine defence in the 1998 World Cup, I believe, against yeah Argentina, and um, obviously scored that very, very good goal. He is also pretty quick as well, but it's not the fastest, though, and obviously he was getting slower due to all the injuries he was getting at this point in his career. But for me, his dribbling was very good. Very happy of it. You know, he was obviously, as I said before, known for taking on players, known for taking on the, on the defensive was good dribbling. And in general, very happy with that from him. Uh, and then for me, his only con is that he is just, uh, he's a bit weak, um, to be honest. I mean, obviously, his good pace, his good dribbling means he can often actually take on defenders and beat them. But sometimes he's got no chance and defenders will just literally shrug him off the ball with ease. And it does get to a point where it's very frustrating. Now, comparing him to other icons, obviously, people like to say, you know, who should they get? Should they get 86 large? Should they get 85 Crespo? Blah, blah, blah. Um, this is a good icon card, but there's better alternatives. Now, I haven't used Larson in all fairness, to be quite honest. Uh, if somebody said to me right now, which, you know, I've got like 900k, should I go buy Crespo or should I go and buy Owen? You'd go and buy Crespo. Crespo is the go-to striker in this game. He is the best striker. Uh, Del Piero is obviously very good as a striker and it's kind of similar to Owen, but he just has that little bit more. Owen just lacks something for me, which I can't really describe, to be quite honest. But uh, in general, he's a very good player and um, I would recommend buying him, but... There's, I don't know, there's just a few other alternatives that might suit your kind of gameplay style a little bit more that you guys might want to kind of look into as well. But uh, no, in general, a very good player. I'm going to give him a 9 out of 10 rating. I thought he did his job very well and... Um he was enjoyable to use, just like he's pretty much been in the past few FIFAs. But anyway, guys, that's going to finish up this part of you. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys later.